another quick video about Polaris, Sean Hawkins, and B-Ball. They can't seem to understand that their model doesn't work in reality, theoretically only. So let's say that's my telescope. It's lined up with Polaris. It's on the north-south axis. I can literally leave it there, and it will always be lined up with Polaris. Now the Flat Earth model says that's because we're not orbiting the sun. So that stays right there, doesn't budge, always lined up. Works perfect on a Flat Earth model. Here's the problem for the Globies. If I slide this just on the north-south axis just a little bit more, it will no longer be aimed at Polaris. If I look to the side, it won't be aimed at it at all. It'll be completely off. I would have to readjust the angle. So now we're going to go back where we started here. Now, the telescope sets on a base, right? So if the base moves, just like I moved the, tele the telescope back, we'll pretend this is grounded on the Earth. The Earth is going to move 186 million miles to the other side of the Sun. You suppose it should still be aimed at Polaris? Heck no. Of course they claim Polaris is so big and so far away that it will still be lined up in Polaris. It simply doesn't work. They don't live in reality. They have to make crap up. When you think about it, and think it through, and use common sense and rationality, you realize that model of the Earth orbiting the Sun is absolutely 